Honestly, for like gluten-free, I didn't find a lot. If you're gluten-free, that's the place to go. They have so many options. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Monday, guys. It's been, it's been a bit of a long day, but I went to work this morning and I was supposed to work like nine to two and then come up here for a lymph, um, lymphatic appointment. But I had to get my heart monitor. So the person leaves at two. So I had to leave work early and come up here and get my heart monitor. Also, can I just say how adorable this is? Yes, I said a heart monitor was adorable. But look, it is so tidy. It's just tidy. I remember, okay, this is so totally gonna date me, but I remember when I was in grade school and like in fifth grade, younger, older, all of the above. And I would wear, I would be like, my heart does something funny. And also this is only for 24 hours. I could have sworn he told me it was gonna be like two weeks. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I just was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, heart, you better do something weird. You better do something weird. Um, Cause normally they're like, everything looks fine. So anyway, uh, but I remember I had the ones in like elementary school and they were like this big and they like attached to your pants or whatever and you had to like press the button if there was an issue and inevitably I would hit it with like my knee or my thigh or something like bending down or whatever and it would start beeping and it was so loud and it was like beep 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 I was like oh my gosh everyone is staring at me and the teacher's like what is that noise and I'm over there like hundreds up in a ball trying to cover it uh, <laughs> general heart problems <laughs> I'm telling you so I want to know I want to know a funny experience from your heart monitors um but yeah so I um, and it was three years. This is how sad my life is. I looked back on my Instagram because apparently that's my medical journey. And, uh, I mean, it is my medical journey, but it's basically like my medical diary. So it was three years, <laughs> uh, 2018. That's technically three years now, right? So that just blows my mind. I'm still in 2020. It is not 2021 in my mind. But anyway, so I, I did that and then I was supposed to have, that was supposed to be at one thirty, and then I had an appointment to see my lymphatic doctor at 3.40 and I was just gonna go get food. Well, speaking of which, I need to order that while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna order my food. Um, but they were like, let me see if we can get you on in. I was like, yeah, sure, totally. It's done. Like I walked out of his office before three and then I had to go get blood work done to check all my hemoglobin um, blood work for my GI doctor and I, I was done at 340. I mean, 310. I was done at 310, and my appointment was at 340. So I'm like, woohoo! So I don't know what it is with doctor appointments lately, but I'm getting out on time, earlier than I'm supposed to. Yeah, this is great. I love this. Well, I'm gonna order me some food, and then I'm gonna head home, maybe go to Sonic or something, and then I guess I'll see you guys later. Hello, guys. Um, I, it's Friday, it's Friday afternoon. I just finished at physical therapy. Leg is all, all wrapped up. Um, it went really well. We are working on getting me nighttime garments, but I have to tell you guys. So I'm fixing to go in Aldi for like the first time ever. I'm gonna go explore this place and I'm super excited about it. Hello guys, I'm back home and uh, I wanted to do a little review for you guys about Aldi. Cool place, you know, it's grand and all of that, but honestly for like gluten free, I didn't find a lot. I did find these, which I thought were fun, the snickerdoodle ones. And these were like a really great price and they were cotton candy, so you know, had to get that. And um, peeps because they jumped in my arms so that's not my fault 
But afterwards, I went to Publix because I always go to Publix because they always have like buy one get one free and some of their stuff is cheaper um, than it is at Walmart. Now let me just say, I have enjoyed very much going to Publix a lot. And if you're gluten free, that's the place to go. Walmart has a lot, um, but Publix has like more fun things. So let me show you what I got. These, if you've never had Czech cereal, this, this is my favorite, the blueberry. It's so good. And the vanilla. I also got these, which are really good if you've never had them before and they had a buy one, get one free. So I got this one free, which I've never eaten until today. It was really good. I highly recommend. Um, Annie's also has really good mac and cheese, but I really love the craft. It has more flavor in it. But I got a couple of these. Um, also, these are really good. They're kind of like nut thins. Um, they were like two for five, so I get two boxes of them, but the nut thins are good. These are good, highly recommend both. These come in, the Good Thins brand comes in like tons of different flavors. So like barbecue, tomato and basil, there's like a sea salt. So highly recommend these. And I got cheese by one get one free. I eat the fat free because I'm low fat diet. Their cheese, fat free cheese is actually cheaper than Walmart. But um, if you're just a cheeseaholic like I am, <laughs> Publix is a great place to get to get cheese, especially when it's buy one get one free. So, oh, 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 and I forgot about these. So I got these one time at like TJ Mac or something. I don't remember. Um, just a little roll of them. They were so good. And I found them today at Publix. Like I had no idea they had them. Guys, these are so good. They're so good. Um, I think I got the last box too, but I was pretty excited. Goody, Gar Goody Girl makes really good cookies. They have the fudge ones, like with the fudge stripes on them. I used to love those as a kid. So the fact that they make them gluten free now makes me so happy. There you go, there's my shopping excursion. <laughs> um, I guess all in all, I wouldn't recommend Aldi for gluten free, but I would definitely recommend Publix because they have so many options. So, hope you enjoyed my where to shop review. So guys, I had to give you another update on the plants. Um, if you guys remember in the last video, they were in these little pods like these are. And those are mostly our flowers and they're doing really well. Um, however, the zucchini and the squash have now been upgraded to bigger pots. See? And um, have, have, have really grown a lot. I massively. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen by the time we get them from here into outside. We may have to get bigger pots. I don't know. They have exploded. So yeah, I just had to show you guys that because um, it's been it's been pretty fun to watch and pretty pretty amazing. So there's your plan update for the day. <laughs> Found the most massive stick. For Coco, come here. You want the stick? Do you want the stick? She's like, I don't know about this. Oh, is it too big? Here. Get it. Do you want to stick? Come here! So does this go into the category of epic fail for dog fetching? Hi, Soxy.
she's eating. Do you like this dick? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? I told you you would like it, you weirdo. Hey guys, um, it is Saturday evening here. I am vixen to go eat. I hope you guys have had a good week as well. My week has been pretty busy um, with work and therapy and everything. And um, I also wanted to give you guys a small update. I saw my therapist yesterday and I talked to her again about a night garment because what I have right now is the Circade Velcro and they're great and all <laughs> but um, they do not stay up on my leg and they don't compress where I need compression most of the time. So I came across somebody on my Instagram and if you watch this you know who you are. Thank you so much. And basically it stays on your leg much better. You can actually get more compression up in your tummy. Monday, I'm actually going to see the lady um, to get fitted, to get measured and everything, because it's a custom garment. Um, it's the Tribute Night garment. If you're watching this and you have lymphedema and you want to know what it is, um, that's what it is. And yeah, it's a custom garment. So I'm going Monday to get measured and I'm so excited. I, I don't know how long it'll take to get it. Um, I don't know how expensive it is either. So basically it's going to be seeing if I can pay out of pocket, seeing if my secondary insurance will cover some of it, which they may not since it's probably um, a Medicare supplement and Medicare um, does not cover anything lymphedema except like the pump and like therapy. They will not cover the comp compression stockings or any anything else that you need because they don't think it's like medically necessary when it's totally medical necessary so just throwing that out there um and they've been trying to pass the lymphedema act for years from what research i have done to get um medicare to cover these things um it has not been passed yet so if you want any information on that, I will put the link below and you're welcome to jump over that to that. Um, but yeah, so there might be like grants or something I can try to apply for and see if I can get payment. But uh, we'll figure all of that out Monday, hopefully. And also I've had some weird blood work. Um, my GI, when I met with her last week, she said, have you ever had your hemoglobin checked? Like, I've noticed it's been low. Have they ever tested you for like your immune system, like IgG and IgA and all of that? It's basically like immunoglobulin. Um, if you've ever heard of IgIV, that's what it is. It's the hemoglobulin. It's how your immune system reacts to things. And <laughs> we got all my blood work back and mine were really low. So it, it may be normal for me. It may be that we need to possibly start IGIV. It's like an infusion. Um, I would have to go get it done somewhere because I don't have a port or a pick line or anything. Um, but yeah, so that is all on the exploratory terms right now. My GI doctor was out of town this week, so I just kept getting lots of blood work back. And I was like, oh my gosh, I knew she ordered a lot, but like it just keeps coming in. So she's supposed to be back this coming week. So I'm hoping to hear something, hopefully Monday, maybe Tuesday. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, and I'll let you guys know how Monday goes as well. So uh, yeah, just that's, that's, that's my life in, in a whirlwind. But um, thank you guys for coming along with me this week. I know it wasn't a whole lot, but I do hope that you enjoyed and uh, I enjoyed bringing you along. I guess this is me saying good night, goodbye. Be sure to like and subscribe and you are always welcome to follow me on Instagram. The link is below and I will see all of you lovely people next Monday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.